Chris Oliva established himself to be an astounding guitarist and was widely recognized as such. He released seven albums and one EP with a band he founded with his brother called Sabotage. Chris was born in Pompton Plains, New Jersey on April 3, 1963, and was the youngest of four children. The Oliva family moved constantly until they decided to hunker down in Florida and make a home there. Before they laid claim in Florida, they lived in California, and this is where Chris's love for music had found him. He would spend his time listening to his records and trying to find a way to play the riffs from his favorite guitarists, such as Richie Blackmore, Mihai Oshenka, Tony Iommi, and Yuli Junroth. Little did he know that later his brother John and himself would make a band. 1978 saw the birth of Avatar and the joining of drummer Steve Doc Wackholtz and bassist Keith Thumper Collins. Before the release of their first album, Avatar, in 1983, the band was legally required to change their name. They combined the words Sabotage and Avatar to get what we know today as Sabotage. Sabotage released their first album, Sirens, that same year. In 1984, Chris married his lifelong girlfriend, who he had been dating since middle school, Don Marie Hopert. 1985 saw the release of their second album, Power of the Night. The rest of the discography includes Fight for the Rock in 1986, 1987's Hall of the Mountain King, 1989's Gutter Ballet, Streets of Rock Opera in 1991, and his last album with the band Edge of Thorns in 1993. Hall of the Mountain King saw the appearance of Paul O'Neill. Due to this tour and how great of a guitarist Chris was, he was offered a spot in Megadeth in 1989, but declined in order to further sabotage with his brother and bandmates, which would return as irony later. John, Chris's brother, left the band in 1992. Steve followed his steps and quit the band in 1993. A new lineup would be needed for the new album, and that album was Edge of Thorns. Dan Campbell, Chris's best friend, discovered Zachary Zach Stevens while in Hollywood, and after hearing a demo from him, he was in the band. Jeff Plate, who joined Metal Church in 2006, was chosen to replace Doc. Everything was going great for the band, with more than enough praise being sent their way. On October 17, 1993, Chris and his wife Dawn were on their way to the 4th Annual Livestock Festival when their car was struck. A drunk driver, with a long list of DUIs, drove over the median and drove right into their car, killing Chris instantly and injuring Don severely. After all the drunk driver had done, he only served 18 months of his 5 year sentence. Most would say that justice has not been served. Chris was only 30 when he was killed. The funeral service was held in Curlew Hills Memorial Gardens. The remaining members of Sabotage played a set, but without a guitar player, only placing Chris's signature guitar that now had roses climbing up it which resembled the back cover of Streets, where he would have stood on stage. Some artists paid tribute to Chris, such as Rip Undone on WFO by Overkill, Thunder and Rain Part 2 on Word of Mouth by Vicious Rumors, and the album Low by Testament. Chris was a young artist who showed his potential and loved what he did. He shared his heartfelt riffs and backing vocals to many songs for Sabotage. There is one thing that should be said at the end of it all, never drink and drive. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.